The big game tonight, Northern Lakes League. Last several years, it has come down to this contest between Perrysburg and Anthony Wayne, both undefeated in the league. First quarter, the Yellow Jackets trying to set that tone early. TJ Tackett screen pass to Connor Wallenzak. Future Toledo Rocket, such a patient runner, picks his yes. way through the secondary for the touchdown at 7 0 at Jackets. But Anthony Wayne down to their third string quarterback, defensive end Cadence Carswell. Little motion, dumps it off to England Allen. We're used to seeing the future Bucknell Bison making defensive plays tonight. He's doing on both sides of the ball. 62 yard score ties the game at 7. Let's go to the third quarter. It's 17-7 Jackets. Generals, though, with an answer. Handoff to Joe Caswell. Looks like he's bobbled up at the line, but the senior able to bounce outside, and then it's a foot race, and no one is catching Caswell. 55-yard score. Anthony Wayne back in it, down three. But the Jackets go right down the field and sting the Generals again. Tackets keeping it, and just like that, visitors back up by 10. But then in an eerily similar sequence, Adub goes back to Caswell, gets a big hole, gets in the secondary, and then mm. watch the cutback here as Caswell bringing Anthony Wayne back within a three Vision. points. But then early in the fourth quarter, Jackets, Tackets gives it to mm. Wallenzak, his second touchdown of the night, back to a 10-point lead. Wallenzak would add a third score as Perrysburg wins it 38-28 to remain unbeaten in the Northern Lakes League. Tackets and Wallenzak, a terrific twosom for the Jackets. Me personally, it feels, it feels great. I mean, I threw three interceptions last year in this game, and we really just want to help the guys win, and that's we got the job done. That's what we did, so yeah. The offensive line, they dominated up front. You know, we got a lot of push, and we were able to mix up our mix up our play calls. TJ had a great game. A lot of receivers had a great game, too, so we were able to spread the ball out. But, you know, the offensive line dominated up front, so, so the game goes to them for sure. The pleasure on the call for this one. Mason Lowry and John Gibson, they break it down. Well, guys, that was an incredible game of football. Matchups of this magnitude, you know, don't always live up to the hype. This one absolutely did. Without a doubt, I mean, you had big plays, you had big hits, and eventually Perrysburg, the continued sustained drives, were able to overcome the big plays, and you saw the, the Yellow Jackets come up with the W. Yeah, consider this. Anthony Wayne defensively this year has been spectacular. They're giving up less than a touchdown per game on average. Tonight, Perrysburg hung 38 on them. That is a really complete Yellow Jacket offense. Without a doubt, in the the third down conversions, I mean, the way that they were able to just third and seven, third and eight, continuously turn first downs in, whether it was mm -hmm. on the ground and in the air, that that is the, the third down conversions is a mark of a championship level team. And, you know, can see, you know depending on if they take care of the business for the next three weeks, this will be a championship team. Not much more you can say about Joe Caswell, either of Anthony Wayne. He was sensational, as he inevitably is. A couple of long touchdown runs in that third quarter to keep the Generals in it. But really, they were a couple of plays short on the offensive end. They needed to create just a little bit more. Well, Joe, Joe Caswell is a walking big play. I mean, he, he's a walking big play. So you saw the two that he got in the third quarter, then the one from England Allen early. The problem with the Anthony Wayne offense, and this is kind of what we expected with the third string quarterback being in there, was that there were no sustained drives. Normally the big plays come, but you also have those sustained drives where they're 10, 12 right. plays. They didn't have those. It was the big plays and the big plays only. 21 points they put up, but it was all off of big plays, and that's just not enough to beat this Perrysburg team this year. Battle of the NLL goes the way of the Yellow Jackets. An emphatic win in front of a record-setting crowd of just under 6,000 here at Schaller Stadium.